Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing an opening for a Digimon product. Uh, this is quite rare because obviously with uh, Digimon it's not as easy to actually obtain as opposed to card games such as Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon or Magic given that those ones are just pretty much everywhere. I mean you could find them everywhere with Pokemon it's or at least with Digimon sorry uh, it's definitely a lot harder to come across only specific stores really have them so hopefully it does become more popularized to the point where it starts selling at more locations but with that being said uh, I do have a battle of Omni here uh, the interesting thing about Digimon is that the older the set the cheaper they get um, of course with very few exceptions of course if you want to buy uh, set 1 or set 1.5 which is the first two sets of this game uh, they are definitely well above retail and uh, it's going to be really hard to buy them at a really low price but with that being said this is definitely a lot cheaper than it used to be uh, when it first came out uh, so it's definitely fantastic but i also believe that there are amazing cards in this particular set so to actually open up a box all by myself here uh, it's just really great so i'm gonna cut open this and we're just gonna see what's actually inside this particular box here are uh, definitely very interesting 24 packs and 12 cards per pack as well so uh, quite a lot to actually uh, hope for here um, i am looking for just one more copy of armageddon because i only have one copy i need to get i think i actually no i have four copies of it it's just one of them happens to be the gold border one but uh, yeah, to get a play set of the uh, original copies would be great as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind getting Omnimon's Wart. That would be a very fantastic card to actually pull as well. So, yeah, definitely a lot to look forward to here. Uh, let's just find out. So, here is our box topper. Very exciting. Uh, we have over here Takumi Aiba, which, you know, it's a cool trainer. So, yeah, that's definitely very nice. And it's in foil as well, but you can get it in uh, regular common or non-foil so that's fantastic but we'll set this aside and we're going to open up uh, all of these packs so i'm definitely very excited here because uh, this is what we have 24 packs to open uh, let's get started right away so first pack hopefully there's going to be a really easy way of actually opening this up so that i could you know make it more exciting but with that being said let's see so we have Gaussmon uh, we have uh, Colomon I mean I'm just gonna probably skip through all of these basic commons that we've already uh, are too familiar with with the set it's more so just the end where we find some more interesting stuff so we have over here Wergururumon uh, Sagittarius mode very nice and we have here Sora and Joe very nice okay uh, not too bad, but uh, nothing particularly significant to begin with, so let's continue on uh, because obviously it is mainly the uh, SRs that we really want to get here. But of course, by getting like one or two boxes, you could essentially just get all the play sets of cards you actually need uh, for this particular uh, set. So that's fantastic, but we have over here Neptune Mon, and it seems like we have something special, a bit of a spoiler, but we have Black War Graumon, a fantastic rare, and we have, oh, very nice, a Metal Gururumon. I didn't even know it was actually out in black as well, uh, but that's definitely fantastic, really excited to play this. Uh, first time I've actually ever pulled this as well, so that's great. Uh, but of course, I'm hoping to get more copies of it if possible. I'll set this aside in a separate pile and we'll come back to it later. But with that being said, let's continue on and see what else we can also get. Alright, these packs, arguably, they're easy in some sort of way but difficult in another. So let me refocus there and let's see what's actually in this next one. So we have. A lot of interesting... Oh, nice. We have Nokia Sherimine. Uh, this is a very fantastic card. I've seen uh, many deck profiles that actually incorporate this. And people are playing four copies of it. So definitely looking to get as many copies of her as possible. Um, so yeah, that would be great. And we have Terriamon Assistant, which is just a regular rare. 
Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, see what else we can get. It's definitely very exciting so far. Uh, so let's continue on and see how we go. Um, I believe one box does guarantee a secret, so uh, very interesting to see what we could potentially get as our secret for this particular set, but who knows? Uh, Rosemon, nice. We have here our Waru Monzaimon, which is our rare, and... Oh, nice. We have Tactimon here. Very interesting. A purple card, which is uh, actually one of my preferred colors uh, to play for Digimon. So, yeah, very excited about that. I'll put it in that separate pile. But let's see how we go in this next pack here. All right, let me just get this opened up. Definitely quite a challenge at times, but yeah, let's just see what is in this one here. So... In this particular pack, we have an Earth Shaker as our regular rare, and we have Arata Sonata, uh, which there is actually a deck focused around it, so that's definitely going to be very interesting. If we pull enough copies of it, uh, we can definitely build a deck uh, around it, so that would be fantastic. But for the time being, uh, I'm okay with it for now, with what I got. Let's just see what else we can get. I mean, it's a rare. Surely we could pull it uh, with great ease. But let's find out what else we have here. Um, our rare is Omni Shoutmon, which is not bad. And we have here a Black War Groundmon. That looks like the second copy we pulled, which is great, of course, because obviously if you want to build something, uh, you mainly want to have the maximum amount of copies. And that is four copies for consistency with few exceptions. But with that being said, uh, let's see what this next pack has to offer us. So, in this particular one, what do we have over here? We have our Sakuyamon, very nice, as a regular rare, and we have our Argomon, which is also a rare but with extended artwork. Uh, always fantastic to see there. Um, the artwork definitely stands out, which is fantastic. It's very dynamic, it's very. Um, clean, I should say, and this ultimately makes it more inviting to actually play the game itself, and this is the case for a lot of the more uh, modern card games that have actually come out recently, um, so yeah, fantastic there, we have our rare Earthshaker, and we have, nice, Ty and Matt, uh, which is actually a white card, I actually didn't really know about that, but uh, white cards, or at least colorless cards, are uh, cards that are just great for support in any deck, which definitely is fantastic, and these cards are a lot more uh, hard to come by, of course, because there is a scarcer amount of it, but they definitely add a whole nother level of, uh, you know, gameplay into it all, uh, by not being restricted to certain colors. Uh, so there we go, we have Arata Sonata, nice, our second copy, which is exactly what we needed. Um, and we have, oh my goodness, that's our secret, isn't it? So we have here Omnimon Zwart Defeat, absolutely happy about that, wow. That's that's exactly what we needed, because um, I actually pulled this uh, once before, so this here is a second copy of it. Oh, that's fantastic, that is just absolutely stunning. It's always great to see. But uh, yeah, that is uh, definitely fantastic there, but that should be our only secrets for the actual uh, box itself, so uh, from this point on we'll only be seeing supers, but that's okay because uh, if we can get something interesting then I have no complaints. But we have here Blulu Komon, uh, which is our rare, and we have here Mega Digimon Fusion, which obviously would revolve. Uh, most likely around Omnimon's warts, just because it is focusing on level 6 and 7, so uh, yeah, that's going to be very exciting here, given uh, the kind of deck that it actually is, so yeah, definitely fantastic. Uh, what do you guys actually think so far about these cards? Do you actually like this particular set? I've actually had a lot of interesting comments from different players out there, uh, mixed reviews actually a lot of people really like this set a lot of people uh, are not too big of a fan of it but uh, at least for me so far i'm really enjoying this particular set we have mega Dramon and we have a metal gururumon so this one is a blue but it's a rare so very interesting so let's continue on 
And I think uh, that's going to be the common theme around this particular set, is that you will be seeing a lot of uh, variations of uh, Gururumon and a lot of variations of uh, Wargreymon as well. Uh, because, of course, they combine or fuse to go into your Omnimon. Uh, so that's quite fantastic. We have Izzy and Mimi. Very nice here as our trainers or dual trainers. And we have our Sakuyamon uh, for our final prayer. So there we go. The first side of the box all done. Let's move on to the second side. The next 12. Uh, I don't remember. But I think the second one and the fourth one is the one that actually has the supers in there. And I didn't really count onwards from there. So we're going to encounter one more super. But... Uh, yeah, let's just find out how we go with that. Um, yeah, that's assuming the theory that it does correlate to each uh, side that we go on, but it, I'm just going to test out this theory and see what actually happens here. If it doesn't, then uh, I guess we'll know. But uh, for now, let's just see what we actually have here. Uh, it seems like this theory is uh, definitely uh, not there. So we have our Metal Greymon Ultras mode because I see a bit of uh, shininess behind. Uh, we have Armageddon. Nice. Uh, I was actually talking about this at the beginning of the video. And there we go. We have our fourth copy uh, of the regular. I do have the one with the gold border, but just one copy of it. So I don't know. We might pull that later on. But uh, for now, I'm definitely very pleased about this particular pull here. So uh, yeah, let's set that aside. But hopefully I don't pull another copy of it because I actually don't need any more because I now have four copies of it. So uh, yeah, it's fantastic and all, but there's no need for any more than that. So let's find out what else we actually have over here. Let's see, moving on, we have, oh, I see a gold card here, Metal Greymon Ultras mode, that was a second copy, very nice, but, wow, we actually have Omnimon in a gold border form as well, this is fantastic, look at that, that looks really awesome, I love it, definitely very unique, very interesting, so this is actually an Omnimon, not a Zwart or anything like that, uh, so yeah, really interesting here. I love how this new kind of thing is uh, going about. Not necessarily new given that Battle of Omni isn't a new set anymore, but uh, even so, to make it evolve, to evolve into this is definitely very fantastic. But yeah, that is great. I'll set that aside um, and let's move on. So I'm definitely really pleased with uh, how things are going so far. I don't know, what do you guys actually think about my pulls at the moment? This is definitely quite interesting indeed. So let's move on and find out what else we get here. We have here a uh, Renemon. Yeah, as a rare, and we have uh, Wizzelin or Wizelin. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. So far we have uh, five cards, five foil cards so far. Um, normally a box should include, I believe, uh, ten. I'm not too sure, nine or ten. Uh, so we'll have to find out because by that logic, I should expect to have at least uh, four or five more foil cards. Um, oh, nice, third copy of Arata, fantastic. And speaking of uh, the foils, we have over here our Chaos Gallant Mon. Very interesting, uh, first time I've ever pulled this, first time actually seeing it. Um, glad to see it's a purple card. So yeah, very excited to play this as well. Uh, definitely a very interesting card indeed. So we set that aside. That is our sixth uh, foil. So let's find out uh, what else we have left. This is definitely getting very exciting. I mean, obviously the tension is quite high with uh, what we could potentially get still. Um, but with that being said, let's just uh, keep going and see how things actually go here. So next up we have our Terramon Assistant and we have War Greymon, fantastic. So just both rares, but that's okay because uh, it's good to get, even though it might be a rare or common or uncommon, um, doesn't mean that they're not as good as the supers or anything like that. Uh, they are definitely still quite crucial for your deck because uh, every card is important for a deck, you know? So definitely don't just assume it's bad just because it's a common card. But with that being said, let's see what we have in the next one. We have our Bulokomon, and oh my goodness, here we are, another foil card. 
This here is our Hexa Blaumon. Very interesting card. It's a blue card. Uh, so yeah, this would be very interesting to play, but let's set that aside. Uh, very interesting. So obviously we have like a few packs left. Um, and these two, I doubt there's going to be anything special in there. Uh, just because the theory kind of like broke apart anyway. Uh, but with that being said, let's continue on anyway. Uh, we have about seven foils right now, so there is still two more to expect. Or perhaps just uh, even three more if we're lucky. But we have Ty and Matt. Again, great trainer. We have another rare here, Catastrophe Cannon, which is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going and see how we go. I mean, I'd be quite disappointed if we finished up on all the foils right now. I still do expect us to get uh, some more, but uh, with that being said, let's just uh, you know, hope for the best. So let's see, we have uh, Argomon and we have Takumi Aiba. Wow, that's only our second one or the first time we pulled it here. We got it as a box topper, but uh, yeah, definitely really crazy. Uh, so yeah, four packs left. I reckon at least two of them will have uh, secrets, or supers, sorry, uh, SRs that is. So let's see what we get in this one. Um, so yeah, very interesting there. Omni Shoutmon as our rare, and we have our Mega Digimon Fusion. So, so far nothing, but we have three packs left, and I did count properly, I mean, I'm looking at the side right now, there should be, I have seven foils with me right now, so I don't know, who knows, these two were the ones that I set aside, so I'll open up one of them and I'll see how we actually go in this one. Alright, so, let's find out what we get, it's just very interesting to see because there are about 112 cards or types in this particular set so you would expect there to be a lot of interesting variety with what's actually to offer and uh, with that being said let's find out it's nice we have another Nokia which is exactly what we needed and we have a black war Greymon. very nice so it seems like we are getting a lot less foils in this particular box but that's okay I mean I'm not too fussed about that um, I don't know if both will have supers, I'm expecting them to, but uh, maybe if I expect it, then I won't actually get it, so maybe I shouldn't expect it, you know, but let's find out what we have here, a bit of a spoiler, I can already see it, oh, we have all delete, first time we're pulling this here, and, oh my goodness, wow, we actually got like a, another Omnimon, which is uh, fantastic, so this one is just a regular one, I'm um, just gonna whip out the other one from before, but we have the gold border one and we have this one. It's so awesome to see that we have two variations of it. Um, wow, that is insane. That is just so interesting. Wow, I I'm really happy about that for sure. I mean, Omnimon is just a really cool Digimon, you know? I mean, if you've seen the original Digimon movie, then you'll know that uh, Omnimon is just such an awesome Digimon. So yeah, let's uh, find out what we have here in our final pack. Oh, I see something special. We have uh, Diaboromon. Uh, first time we're pulling this, unfortunate, but hey, you know what? It goes into Armageddon. That's the whole point of it. But yeah, with that being said, our final card is... Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, a fantastic finisher to this actual box itself. We have Omnimon's Warts, a really awesome card here. Uh, yeah, that's a great finale to this. So let's uh, do a bit of a small recap on what we actually have. We have Omnimon's Wart, we have Omnimon, we have Omnimon uh, in a gold border. Uh, we have here our Hexablaumon. Uh, over here we have our Chaos Gallantmon. We have our Armageddon, which is also just not too bad as well. Uh, Omnimon's Wart Defeat. Uh, that's actually pretty awesome as well. Um, we have over here our Tactimon. And for our ninth and final card, we have our Metal Gururumon. Uh, definitely very pleased about this. Definitely very happy about this. Uh, yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on this. Did you guys think I got good pulls? 
Uh, otherwise, thanks for joining me today and I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.